Hey everyone and welcome to my channel Raven of Hope. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, commenting, and sharing. I'm going to be pulling some cards for December of 2024. I am using the Crow Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the collective. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Again, I'm calling on my guides, your guides, and all beings of light to assist me with this reading. And that everyone watching this gets a clear and accurate message for them. Oops, sorry guys. All right, <laughs> so this was the second, this was the first, thought I heard something behind me, and this is the third. So a lot of us are really going through a lot of battles that we're not talking about, or maybe we have been talking about way too much. There's... A lot of mixed energies here and I feel like this a lot of it is going on in the mind and the heart I feel like a lot of us is deciding if we're ready to step into peace or we still want to fight to try to create peace it, it's an interesting thing because I feel like some of us are dealing with situations that we didn't deserve, but we're still trying to decide, am I going to make, make peace out of this or am I going to use this as a righteous anger and move on and make better for myself? So this card is the one that is kind of With it being in the position that it's in being in reversed, I feel like a lot of us know what we've lost. And a lot of us is still mourning over that, but we're realizing that what was lost, whether we wanted to admit it or not, there had to be some destruction in order for us to be able to see that we have more control than we thought at first. And what I mean by that is a lot of us are transitioning into more of a surrender. Where before it was more of a... I want to say chained. And I also want to say delusion. But I don't want to say delusion as in we weren't grounded in reality. That's not the case at all. I honestly feel like we have put like a filter over our our life because we're so maybe easily disappointed or we're carrying disappointment and this is really calling you to step into more of a higher level of consciousness and seeing as every situation as a win in its own way and even when we lose we see that there's value in that we don't see it as rejection or as a way to be down on ourselves. it's more of a way to be able to see what are we going to surround ourselves with and a lot of it has to do with mindset because all these are swords every single one of them um i'm going to pull a couple more at least two more just to see what else we're looking at okay there's one and there's the other one okay so the page of one so yeah there is some new energy coming in I don't want to say too fast paced but it's more of like you don't have time to procrastinate no longer um and you're seeing 
how valuable time is. That you knew time was valuable before, but now it takes on a different kind of meaning. Um urgency but in a in a way that's more of a surrender and not so much a battle like uh, overthinking it I, and getting to the point where you're grieved over it because for whatever reason they're wanting me to mention how sometimes I think about time okay that I focus so much on once again the loss the loss of time and Worrying about how much time I have left, where it gets me in this stage of entrapment and this stage of grief and depression where I don't move. And therefore, I am creating, like this card says, my own, I don't know how to explain it other than my own boundary, but it's it's not really a boundary it's more of a, how do I explain it? A fear, a fear that I'm letting an unhealthy coping skill that I have been using for my fear, if that makes sense. Now, this one is wands as well. And this is the, the three of wands. And I feel like this is really saying that whether we want to admit it or not, it, we're building a new foundation. And not just in our mind, but in our physical realm as well. Now, this might not bring as much prosperity as we would like, but it's a solid foundation to where you can always improve it and it won't be something that will be easily destroyed like it was before. Because, again, I'm hearing that disappointment, that disillusion kind of talk um, with spirit. And saying that a lot of our minds have been almost like frozen in a way. Or in fight or flight, kind of like people that struggle with trauma. But, again, this card flew out and it... Not flew out, but it really caught my attention, okay? And so that's something I want to work on as well with myself. But I feel like a lot of you need to see this as well. The victim consciousness. To really look at it a different way. Instead of seeing it as a way to give up or to feel sorry for ourselves. It's a way to see that we are conscious. And we can... And we should feel the depth of our hurt and our pain, but we also can build light out of the darkness, so to speak, instead of letting it kind of cloud our judgment and to let it take us down in the worst way possible. It's more of kind of the a psychology term, I would say. When I'm looking at that card, it kind of reminds me of the shadow work that a lot of people talk about but really I feel like all all that real boy real really boils down to is accepting the parts of yourself that are harder to deal with but you love it anyway and you nurture it to where it don't dominate you in the worst way it's actually going to be a new foundation that could really help you if you allow it to and don't let it hinder you and to not allow it to keep you from seeing that you have options because you just, you do and that is what I'm feeling from all these cards is there's things shifting so you have more options and that you won't feel so isolated and you won't feel so Feeling like your mindset gets cut off regardless of how much you work on it. I feel like it's, yeah, it's going to be a struggle. But in this month, it's all about, I, I'm seeing like sweeping. So we're sweeping away a lot of debris. And we're going to decide what we're going to do with that. Are we going to throw it away? Or are we going to 
use it as a reminder and a motivation not to allow it to sit around so long or let it be something that we use as a focus point to where we are numb to everything else around us, if that makes sense. But if you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys want to, I can do a giveaway once I hit so many subscribers. Um, give me a suggestion on what you think is fair for a giveaway when it comes to subscribers and also what you would like for me to give away. Would it be a reading, a healing, um, a card deck, a, a crystal, my tea lights I make? You just let me know, okay? Have a blessed day.